Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Playdate console, specifically if we can sideload games from an iPhone to this new console. Now I'll assume that if you're watching this video you are at least a little familiar with the Playdate, but if you're not, let's just go over the basics. This is a new retro black and white handheld console from Panic. It comes with 24 games when you buy it and two games unlock every week after you first fire it up. It has two really unique features. In addition to a D-pad and A and B buttons, it has this crank on the side that you can pull out and some games use it for very precise analog control. Another really cool feature of the Playdate is that it is a completely open console. You can make your own games for it, you can give them away, you can sell them, you don't have to get permission from Panic, they don't take a cut of your sales, it's completely open, which is really cool. So how do you get these type of games onto the Playdate? Well, there's two methods. One is you plug it in your computer and you drag the games over to the console, or you point your web browser to the games you downloaded and it wirelessly beams the games to the Playdate. So that's all fine and dandy on your computer or your laptop, but what if you're out on the road on a trip and you just have your iPhone with you? Would you be able to download some cool games you found while you were out and transfer them over to the Playdate? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at in this video. Okay, so first let's take a look at the drag and drop method. This is very similar to how a lot of old MP3 players used to work. You plug them into your computer, they would mount as a disc on the desktop with a music folder. You drag the MP3s into the music folder, disconnect the device, and you are ready to listen to the music. Same idea here with the Playdate. You plug it into your computer, it mounts as a disc with a games folder, you drag the games into that folder, disconnect, and you're ready to play. And that works perfectly fine on a desktop computer, but will it work on the iPhone? So let's try it out. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just download a game on the iPhone. So I found a web page here that has some various Playdate games on it. So let's just pick something that everybody knows. We'll do Tetris. And download. Okay. Now, unlike most devices that mount as the disc, they usually go into that disc mode automatically. The Playdate is a little different. It has a button combination you have to press down in order to get it into disc mode. But it's not hard, and I'll show you what it is right now. You're going to want to hold down the lock button, the home button, and left on the D-pad for a few seconds. Okay, that's in disc mode now. Let's get out our USB-C to A cable. Plug that in. And over here on the iPhone, I'm going to use the Lightning to USB adapter, which I featured in many of my videos before. You are going to need to put power into this to make it connect consistently with the Playdate. So let me go ahead and put that in. And then we'll go to the Files app. Okay, there it is. Playdate, and we'll go into Downloads and we'll get that Tetris game. We need to unzip it by tapping on it. And then we're going to go up here, say Select Tetris Folder. And we're going to hit Move to the Playdate Games folder right in the root. That's what you want. Copy. These are not big files. They'll copy pretty quickly. Okay, so let's detach Playdate and take a look at what we've got. I'm going to hit A to get out of USB mode. And let's go down. And there it is, Tetris. Perfectly fine. So yes, you can attach the Playdate to the iPhone and sideload games over USB in the disk mode. 
Okay, so let's look at the second method, which is to log into your account on Playdate's website and in the browser, point it to the game you want to wirelessly send to your Playdate. I think what's happening here is these games get uploaded to panic servers and then pushed out to your device. So let's see if that also works on the iPhone. I've deleted the Tetris game from the Playdate itself, but I still have it here on my phone in my downloads folder. I've logged into my account on Playdate's website, so I'm going to hit choose a file here. And then in this case, I'm actually going to use the zip file, not the unzip file. So I'll tap on that and it says uploading and it's done because these games are very, very tiny. So then you go over to your play date and you go down to settings and you go into games and you go up and hit refresh list. And uh, this sometimes can take a few minutes. Um, it's not super fast like the drag and drop method. So we'll just come back and revisit it here in a minute when it's finished. Okay, so Tetris has shown up. Let's take a look here. And I'll click on it. And it'll ask me if I want to install the game, of course. I'll download it real quick. And then we can go back out to the main menu. And there's Tetris again just like that. So both methods work, the drag and drop method and using the browser to wirelessly send it to your play date. Both of them work great on the iPhone. This is great if you're traveling and like I said, you got just these two devices, you can definitely get new games over to your play date device. So I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.